I have already discussed about this particular version of MyFiles application which brings in the MyFiles Labs as a hidden feature. And that was not on an official update on MyFiles. It was through an APK we got the latest version. But now Samsung has started rolling out the official update for the MyFiles application which adds the hidden Labs feature on MyFiles application. Let me show you that. Let me open this application here. I'll tap on this three dot button and tap on settings. Now you see all the way down we have got my files labs it says this is only for internal tests the function in labs are not official and can be disappeared now this is available only on the latest version of my files application be wary of that if you haven't got the update you will not be able to see this my files labs if you have got the latest version which is uh, let me just show you the latest version uh, 15.0.04.5 then you will be able to get the my files labs feature now i'll let you know how to enable this my files labs let's go to settings again all the way down we have got about my files i'll tap on this now here you see my files just keep tapping on this multiple times continuously you see a notification at the bottom which says my files labs has been enabled now once it is done just go back you will not be able to see my first labs uh, here what you need to do is just close the application and again open it and tap on three dot button and go to settings you will be able to see my files labs right here at the bottom and when you tap on that it unveils some brand new features which are very very useful inside my files labs now i have already discussed these in detail let me just quickly run through uh, these features we have got we have got an option to permanently delete uh, the file uh, whenever you enable this feature what it does is uh, if you're deleting a particular file inside my files application you can see it is going to show me permanently delete option you can uh, select this option to permanently delete it instead of uh, moving it to recycle bin now the apk that we installed a few days ago this permanently delete option was not working properly but this official version uh, should make it work the permanently deleted item should not go to recycle bin now let me go back let's go to the uh, labs again the second feature is delete data history uh, to use this you need to grant the usage data access permission this allows us to make a report which apps are occupying the storage much when you enable this you'll have to give the permission here and once you're given the permission you can just tap on data history to see the graphical representation here which shows uh, which applications are occupying the maximum space you see we have got images uh, which is in red which is 1.96 GB videos 7.28 GB audio 2.84 GB and rest of the files are depicted here. We should be able to get to know the maximum uh, space occupied by these applications very easily through this representation. The next feature is file operation history. You will get to know what you have done with a particular file recently. If you have copied, if you have moved uh, something to trash, then you will get to know if you know the file name, you will be able to easily find out what you did with that file if you're not able to find that file inside the files application, you can come here to see the operation history and you will get to know whether you have moved that file to the trash or if you have moved it to some other folder, you will be able to get to know here. You can see we can also see the history of renaming of the file, moving it, created folder, moved to trash, copy, move, move to trash. So you will get to know exactly what you did with that particular file, which is fantastic. Now let's go back. Again, here the back button is not working on this official update as well. Uh, we will have to use the navigation gestures or the navigation bar to go back. We have got uh, two more features here, uh, media files in pending status. I can tap on this to see if there is any media files which are in pending status uh, while moving or deleting or uh, in any scenario, you will get the status right here. Then we have got original files of edited image video files. Let me tap on this. You see, we've got 29 invisible backups. We can reclaim the space by deleting the invisible backups used to let you revert edited pictures and videos back to their original version. So whenever you're editing the images or videos, you will have uh, the backup files for those edits. If you want to remove those uh, backup files, you can come here and delete them. And here it looks like this back button is working. Let me do that again. Let's see. Yes, this back button is working. But if you go to files operation, when I tap on back button, it doesn't work. And when I tap on media files in pending status, when I go back, it is working. Original files of edited images, it is working. Data history, it is not working. So there is some bug here. The back button is not working in all, all the options that we have here. Maybe this is because this is a lapse feature. These are still the experimental features. 
And the last feature is reorganize folders. This will tidy up the folder that has over 100 items. It will reduce the time of finding the files. Now these are the labs features that we have got on the My Files application, which are now official. We have got the latest update for the My Files application on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm sure the other phones might have also received it. You guys let me know whether you've got the latest version of this application or drop a comment. The latest version is 15.0.04.5. Let me also know on which phone did you get this update. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you're interested in this wallpaper here on my home screen the link is in the description for you guys to download it and while you download it be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye